Hey guys, this is uh, Dan again on my tailgate party, prayer party on my tailgate and uh, appreciate you joining me for just a few short minutes of reflection and prayer because I believe that the Bible is very clear that God's people need to humble themselves and to look for Him and repent of their evil ways and then He said He would heal our lands. So I think our land needs healed, don't you? You know, one thing Jesus said in the, in the scripture, he says in Matthew 24, he talks about the idea that in the end times, certain things would happen. He said that there would be famines, and there'd be earthquakes, there'd be wars, rumors of wars, all those kinds of things. And, and he says that, and they will deliver you to tribulation, they'll kill you. And on account of Jesus, it says, many will fall away and deliver up one another and hate one another. Jesus said that the time and the end are so bad or they're so disruptive that people turn on one another. My message, I believe, from God today is we need to stay unified. Whether we believe in what's going on and whether there's a conspiracy behind it or whether it's legit or whatever we think, we need to stick together as followers of Christ. Unity is the primal, primal thing that God is after. That is the thing that He really wants us to be about. So will you just pray with me for the unity of the church, the believers? The world's always going to be upside down and crazy, but His followers need to walk in unity and not hate one another, deliver one another. Let's pray for unity. Heavenly Father, thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you for time to beyond this moment with people around us and, and Father just to even if it's a video God you've given us so many opportunities and ways to to do something for you and I pray God that we would stand together as followers with you Lord we pray for unity of the church we pray God that Father that every piece and every part would work properly no matter what the situations and circumstances are I pray Father that there would be a, an outpouring of love and compassion and consideration and Father, whatever our stance are or wherever we feel like should be happening, God, we have to humble ourselves and cry out to you and say, Father, we really need your help. We really cry out to you for your help. Father, I pray that you would watch over us, that you would keep us, and especially, Father, the body of Christ in a day like today, keep us in the unity of the faith. Father, thank you. Thank you for grace. Thank you for the Holy Spirit today. Holy Spirit, fall on your people in unity. Gather us together as one, praising and glorifying your name, seeking you, Lord, looking inside ourselves and saying, is there anything in me that needs to change? Well, what a wonderful time to reset our priorities and values and make sure that we're on that right path. Thank you, Father, for this time of grace and outpouring. Thank you, Father, for the moments we can even come to you in prayer. We remember you. We turn from our wicked way. We cry out to you, Lord, heal our land. It is in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Really good to be with you for a few seconds and just encouraging you to walk in unity. Encourage one another around you while it's called today. Darkness is coming when no man can work. God bless you. Have a great week.